I'll start by interpreting the problem. We have a rectangular gate shown here. There's a hinge at the water line, so the gate pivots around this point. The gate is four feet in this dimension and eight feet wide, so this is like a sheet of plywood. Specific weight of water is given, and the goal is the force to hold the gate shut. Let me connect this to what I already know. There's water behind the gate, and at the surface the water pressure is zero, and at the bottom the water pressure is maximum, and in between there's a linear pressure distribution. This is called the hydrostatic pressure distribution, and I can replace this distributed stress with a single point force shown here. This is the force of pressure and this acts at the center of pressure. So I'm going to calculate this force and then the goal is to find this force over on the other side of the gate. And so since this is not moving, I'm going to simply sum moments about this point. To define the situation, I summarize the problem in one statement. I captured the dimensions of the problem. I sketched my situation diagram and I documented my properties. To capture my goal, I wrote down the symbol and the units and I described the goal in one sentence. And I'm looking for the minimum force here because this is what's solvable with an equation. Let me show you a trick for finding the center of pressure. Here's the formula for the center of pressure. The area moment of inertia for a rectangular plate is B H cubed over 12. So I'll put an equal sign in there. And the this is the depth of the centroid. So this is H over 2 and it's on the bottom. So I'm going to put an H over 2 right there. So I picked up that term and picked up that term. And the area of the plate is the height of the plate times the width of the plate. Now if I cancel out the height of the plate, that cancels like that. If I calculate the depth of the plate, B, that cancels like that. And then the 2 goes into the 12 and we get 6. And the result is H over 6. Let me show you what this means. This means that the center of pressure right here will always be located at 2 thirds of the depth this dimension here, or located from the bottom of the tank at one-third of the depth as shown here, and of course H is the total depth. And what I want to emphasize here, this is only true for a vertical rectangular panel, so it's a useful fact to memorize, but most of the time, or if you have questions, go back and use the formula. The first idea for reaching my goal is to draw a free body diagram. So I isolated the free body, I selected the gate shown here, and I sketched it. Uh, I located the centroid and center of pressure, and I put the various forces acting on this, and I neglected the weight of the gate. It doesn't really matter on this problem. And then in order to solve for the goal, right here, I sum moments about this point. So summation of moments about the hinge is zero. I defined my positive direction for moments, and then here's moment equilibrium. This term is the torque due to the pressure force, and this term is the torque due to the applied load. And in this equation, my goal is right here, and I don't know the force of pressure. So if I can find this, I can now solve the problem. And so to find the force of pressure, I'm going to apply the panel equation. Panel equation says that the Force due to pressure, which is my goal, is equal to the pressure at the depth of the centroid, and I don't know that, times the area of the plate. And the area of the plate is 4 feet by 8 feet, so this is known. This becomes my new goal, and to find this I'm going to apply the hydrostatic equation. So here's the hydrostatic equation. I'm looking for the pressure at a depth of 2 feet. Here's the equation after I do term by term analysis. Specific weight of the water is known, and so my goal right there can be easily found.
Now I've got the problem cracked. I have three equations and three unknowns. My plan is to calculate the pressure at the depth of the centroid using the hydrostatic equation, to calculate the pressure force using the panel equation, and to calculate the applied load, my goal, using moment equilibrium. So here's my calculations. The hydrostatic equation shows that the pressure at the depth of the centroid is about 125 pounds force per square foot gauge. The panel equation shows that the resultant pressure force acting at the center of pressure is about 4,000 pounds force. Applying moment equilibrium shows that the applied load to hold the panel in place is 2,660 pounds force. Review comment number one. If we have a plate that is rectangular, so it has a rectangular shape, and if it's vertical with respect to gravity as shown, so rectangular plus vertical, then it's very useful to remember this formula. The center of, the pre the center of pressure will be exactly two-thirds of the depth, so two-thirds of the depth. Review comment number two. The net pressure force acting on the plate in this example came out to be just around 4,000 pounds force. And the applied load, F, that we had to put on here to resist this was 2,660 pounds force because of the longer moment arm. And to give you a sense of the, how big these forces are, the weight of my Toyota Tacoma pickup is about 3,200 pounds force. And so this force is larger than the weight of my Tacoma pickup. And if we realize this is the load that's acting on a four foot by eight foot panel, we see that hydrostatic forces can be very large indeed. That concludes this example. Thank you very much for listening. And I hope you found some useful ideas.